Hello and welcome to the business of blockchain. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange. Our series focused on blockchain and AI is sponsored by BitDeer. And today we're talking with BitDeer about the state and future of Bitcoin mining. Samantha Robertson is BitDeer's Director of Global Energy Strategy. Welcome, Samantha. Hi, Jane. Thanks so, for having great me. Great to have you back. And BitDeer is a public company headquartered in Singapore with six data centers focused on Bitcoin mining, including three in the U.S. And your company plans to expand its own mining operations and also start manufacturing hardware here in the U.S. What can you tell us about these plans? Very exciting times at BitDeer. On the data center development side, uh, we just announced that we're expanding into Alberta, Canada. And that's a really unique project because we're actually going to build a gas-fired power plant and co-locate Bitcoin mining on site with the generation. And we're working with and partnering with a company that will that will deploy carbon capture technology to actually make it a carbon neutral project. Uh, we also announced that we're going to do a small pilot project in Ethiopia, which is connected to one of their very large hydroelectric dams. Mm -hmm. And what I'm personally most excited about is Seal Miner, which is uh, the Bitcoin mining rig or the computing hardware that was designed in house at Bitdeer. Uh, we currently have two generations um, that have come to market, with the third that will start ramping up manufacturing at the end of this year. And what we're seeing is that the performance of our chips are actually the top of the line and at this point more efficient, which means there's more compute per unit of electricity use than anything else on the market. And what we're hoping to do is actually for the third generation of Seal Miner, have that manufactured right here in the United States. Oh, interesting. Now, the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance released uh, its latest research on Bitcoin mining. And among its findings, sustainable energy use among miners is rising. 52.4% of miners now rely primarily on sustainable energy, up from 37.6 in 2022. And BitDeer is also helping the Kingdom of Bhutan develop green mining operations. That project is getting a lot of international attention. What are you building there exactly? What do you and the Kingdom hope to accomplish? So Bhutan is distinctly positioned for Bitcoin mining because they have what is essentially unlimited hydroelectric power. And the Kingdom of Bhutan has actually been mining Bitcoin for many years. And uh, recently, um, Bitdeer partnered with the Sovereign Wealth Fund of Bhutan to develop 600 megawatts of Bitcoin mining. And we plan to have that all up and running by the end of this quarter, Q2 2025. Yeah, fascinating. And the Cambridge University report also noticed some top concerns among mm -hmm. Bitcoin miners energy price volatility, regulatory uncertainty, mm -hmm. and Bitcoin price swings. So what would you say are the biggest challenges facing the industry? How mm -hmm. are you addressing them? So I would definitely agree, um, but price volatility in Bitcoin and energy is nothing new to Bitcoin miners. I think that what we're seeing is the uh, profitability of being a Bitcoin miner uh, is shrinking over time. And that means that as more computing power comes onto the network, the value of that unit of compute diminishes. And so Bitcoin miners need to be heavily focused on reducing electricity costs and also having the most energy efficient hardware. And where BitDeer fits into that picture is that we are already manufacturing top of the line chips and hoping to bring those to the market for the benefit of all Bitcoin miners. But what I think is something that's really critical to note is that the manufacturing um, of merchant hardware for Bitcoin mining is very, very consolidated. And it's mostly consolidated in Asia and pretty much run by one single company. And so I think what BitDeer is trying to do is diversify that supply and also relocate it to the United States so that Bitcoin miners here and in other countries can have more transparency in the manufacturing process. And we can align with uh, the goals, which is to bring 60% of the computing power to the United States. Now, what about AI? And, and how do you see AI affecting the Bitcoin 
mining industry in the near and the long term? So I think we're seeing two, two things. The first is that um, access to large interconnections on the grid are very scarce. So whether you're building a data center for AI, Bitcoin mining, or traditional cloud compute, you're getting very, very long quotes for when you can actually access the power in excess of five years. And that's because the transmission operators are going to have to build out a lot of transmission and generation assets to meet that demand. And so we're seeing that some Bitcoin miners, which is also related to uh, margin compression in Bitcoin mining, are looking to diversify their revenue by building out AI data centers or partnering with companies that have immediate needs to access electricity. I think that's something that is potentially more hopeful for the industry at large is that um, when you look at the past three years, Bitcoin miners were targeted as being these very, very large electrical loads that could pose reliability risks for all consumers on the grid. And I think what we're seeing now is that there's a distinction between Bitcoin mining, which is a flexible load or a load that can curtail demand um, for a variety of reasons versus other traditional compute, which is power is needed seven by 24. And because of that, uh, the policy on regulating large loads has put us in the same boat. And so we're um, together with some of the most powerful companies in the world, pioneering new energy policy and the impact of large loads and what we can do on the technology side to make the grid reliable and cheaper for everyone. So I think that's very exciting. It is, and fascinating. <laughs> so, Samantha, thank you so much for joining us, and thank it's you for pleasure. sponsoring the business of blockchain. We have brought some wonderful stories to the public. To learn more about BitDeer, you can visit bitdeer.com. I'm Jane King at the New York Stock Exchange.